there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to what's probably the longest video in a while, and that is the official trip preview. Uh, of course, Monday the 28th of June for my 21st birthday, I will be at the Alton Towers Resort uh, to go and celebrate all the new attractions, go and try out the new attraction Gangster Grand of the Ride, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, try out the Retro Squad rides as well, uh, Funk and Fly, Mixtape, and the Roller Disco, which the waltzer attraction in dark forest uh funk and fly which in forbidden valley and mixtape in x sector uh so as well as the new attractions gangster running of the ride world david williams the retro squad flavio's fantastic fandangos the sizzler ride in the world david williams as well uh we get back on some of our favorites wicker man nemesis galactica smiler 13 spinball um, Oblivion, you know, all the great rides that I, I know and love and I've known and loved for years. Um, we'll try and keep our eyes peeled. I'll, keep, I'll try and keep my eyes peeled for some progress. Uh, if there's any construction for 2022 or Scarefest or anything like that. Uh, we know there's been a few whispers about Subterra possibly coming back or that building getting used for something um, this year or next year. So, you know, it should be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, also, there's there's whispers of a few different things as well. Uh, obviously, Scarefest, we don't know what's happening with that. So, obviously, there's going to be some interesting stuff with that. And usually, it is around, you know, between June to August when you start to see, you know, uh, Scarefest progress. And, um, you know, you'll, you, you might start hearing whispers about 2022. I'm not expecting Alton Towers to have a big year in 2022. Um, I'm probably expecting, like, maybe a live show in the David Williams Theatre Space. Um, if the Sizzler ride's not staying, then I expect the queue to be for the show in the in the venue. If, the, if that's going to be, you know, arriving in 2022, or they're going to save the, the building for something bigger, like a dart ride or something, like a family dart ride, like a flying theatre or something. Um, uh, Cuckoo Cars Driving School, I expect that to be rethemed, uh, hopefully next year. Uh, Nemesis of Terror, if that's coming back, or if they're going to use the building for something else, then I expect that to maybe come back next year. Uh, it should be interesting with that scenario. Uh, so I will keep my eyes peeled for Scarefest progress, uh, 2022 construction, or anything like that. Um, but of course, the big focus for me is getting my first ride on Gangster Grand of the Ride, the brand new Dart ride uh, for this year. Of course, delayed from 2020 due to COVID 19, uh, along with the brand new World of David Williams. And it's going to be a really, really weird experience for me personally because, you know, I. I I, the last time I was in that area, it was Cloud Cuckoo Land. The last time I was at Alton Towers was June 2019. This was before the pandemic. So, you know, there was no staggered openings. There was no distant queue lines. There was, um, you know, there was no masks. You know, there was none of that. You know, the new attraction for 2019 was the Alton Towers Dungeon, which... Fingers crossed I will get back in. It's only a five or six quid, so, uh, you know, we're well worth the money getting back in there as soon as possible. Um, obviously, the big focus for me is the Gangster Grand of the Ride. Um, for those of you who maybe are new to this, maybe if you're just watching this just to learn about trip previews, you're sort of thinking, what's Gangster Grand of the Ride? Well, I will tell you what Gangster Grand of the Ride is. So basically, uh, manufactured by a Derby-based company called Garmendale Engineering, uh, it's a Spin Master 4D Dart Ride. That is apparently the model. Uh, opened back on the 17th of May, so it's been open well over a month. Um, it has four cars with eight passengers per, uh, per car. It's sitting on the former site of the Wobble World attraction. Now, a bit of history on Wobble World, for those of you who like your yeah, history on Alton Towers. Now, the site of Wobble World uh, was originally part of Talbot Street and was home to the Motor Museum. 1993 saw Children's World replace the Motor Museum as Talbot Street closed and became the land of make-believe. As the land of make-believe gave way to the first phase of Crutch Street, Children's World was transformed into the indoor play area. Area. The 2000 season saw the indoor play area rethemed to Barney's Playground before Barney and Friends went on to be replaced by the Tweenies in 2003. The Tweenies Playground housed three different attractions, Giggles and Wriggles for children below 0.9 metres. The Tweenies Playground itself for children between 0.9 metres and 1.2 metres. And the Boing Zone for children between 1.2 metres and 1.5 metres. At the end of 2005, uh, the Tweenies left and the attraction was 
was then rebranded to Cred Street Playground with the activities housed inside remaining practically unchanged. Uh, of course, I think we had Bob the Builder at one point as well. I think I was a young kid when I remember, I remember seeing Bob the Builder at one point. So, uh, I mean, that, I think that was just the arena space. I'm not too sure the, the theatre space. So, uh, I might be wrong there. Um, but I think I remember seeing Bob the Builder at least one point. Uh, now, in 2009, the playground became Wobble World with the redevelopment of Cred Street into Cloud Cuckoo. And, of course, we all remember the 2009 season. Cloud Cuckoo Land, Corkscrew was gone, getting ready for Secret Weapon uh, 6, which was 13 the following year. Um... You know, we, we, we had the whole Cloud Cuckoo Land development and things like that. We had Sharp Bait Reef as well in Mutiny Bay. You know, we all remember that season. Uh, I remember the opening of Cloud Cuckoo Land all too well as a kid. You know, I loved that opening of the area. I was at the opening day for Cloud Cuckoo Land. It was a wonderful opening day, uh, filled with passion, filled with joy and just, just living the best memories. So, um, you know, it's going to be weird stepping back into that area now that it's not Cloud Cuckoo Land. Of course, Wobble World then remained closed for, in, for the entire of 2016 as part of the uh, Towers Loving Care program between 2016 and 2018. Uh, however, during the season Scarefest event, the area that formerly housed Wobble World would lose the location for a family scare maze, uh, House of Monsters, uh, raising questions over the return of Wobble World. And of course, House of Monsters did not return uh, for 2019 Scarefest, uh, and it was uh, taken down inside, and it would be home to the brand new Dark Ride as part of the World of David Williams opening, originally for 2020, uh, but now of course 2021 of course it opened back there um, so obviously Gangster Granny Ride is going to be my highlight of the area obviously it's going to be nice walking in and seeing like the, the whole decoration behind the area and sort of seeing the theming behind the area I don't think I'll be getting on Roger's Bouncy Bottom Burp and the Royal Carousel I don't think I'll be getting on those attractions just depending on like queue times etc uh, but they are kids attractions so I, I stay, I sort of stay clear of them um, Flavia's Fantastic Flamingos I mean I've done Slizzler rides in the past so I don't think it'll make much of a difference doing that one uh, but I think it'll just be like every um, you know Sizzler ride or every classic Sizzler fairground attraction um, so you know I think it's, it's just one of those things really I think my main focus for that area will be going to the ground of the ride um, I mean, what, I mean, we're gonna go on to final predictions now about what sort of what I think about Gangster Grand of the Ride uh, before we go into other attractions and speaking about other attractions. Uh, so what am I, so what are my final predictions of Gangster Grand of the Ride? And let's not forget, this is gonna be like the. I guess the climax, shall we say, of me covering Gangster Grand of the Ride on this channel because, you know, ever since the first rumors of a retheme of the area came out in 2019 you know i've covered this attraction i've covered this brand new area and i've been covering it for the last two years on this channel so you know it's going to be really emotional for me to see the finished product in the flesh and it's going to be really exciting to you know see that give it a detailed review i will film and this is a promise i will film a detailed review outside the attraction fingers crossed um you know nowhere near the queue line or anything but i'll i'll, I'll sort of save a good five ten minutes for myself to review the traction in detail uh make sure i'm staying clear of crowds just so i can have a a, a decent amount of space just to you know not spoil it for everyone but also give a, de a detailed review uh or i might do it spoiler free i'm not too sure I'm, i haven't really thought about that yet uh but I, I might do two reviews i might do a spoiler free review and a spoiler review so uh, I, i'm not too sure yet uh but what are my final predictions going into the into the day that i visit on monday uh, uh, tomorrow um it's a hard one for me because um you know, Gangster Grand of the Ride was one of those attractions for me that, you know, I think it's like, I think it's the same with other intellectual properties. You either love it or you hate it. And for me, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle sometimes. Um, like Darren Brown's Ghost Train at Thought Park, for example, technically that's an IP because it's, you know, it, it, they're using Darren Brown and sort of getting him involved and things like that. So in terms of that attraction that's not usually my personal fan that attraction because i mean i love the attraction when it's working 100 percent, but it's so unreliable and the ip for me i just think it it's it's a clever way of doing it but it just i don't know it's just something about it for me 
Um, with this one, however, I think this is a perfect IP for Alton Towers. I think that a kid's book, uh, apply it into this story. Of course, that we, we all know the storyline of the ride. Um, you know, Ben and Granny take you out of the usual Crown Jewels tour. You go off and steal the Crown Jewels. You get taken on the story. We know there's going to be multiple effects going off. We're sitting in these ride cars. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see how it feels and, and how the attraction feels and how it uh, delights me and sort of brings out the inner child in me you know I think that's what it'll do for adults because you know, I'm an adult so what what, the, what this kind of ride will do for adults is brings out the inner child in people and um, you know I think it'd be really interesting to see how it does that and I think that's my expectation going into this attraction bring out the inner child in me bring out the inner kid and I think he's got a good chance of doing that because I will easily be turned into an inner child <laughs> when it comes to these family dark ride attractions uh, you know Charlie and the Taco Factory always brings out my inner kid so uh, we always did bring out my inner kid so I think this will be no different in its own way um, I mean, I'm not expecting much in terms of, yeah, I don't think we're expecting animatronics, I don't think we're expecting uh, a lot of moving figures, I think it's screens, I think it's lighting, I think it's technology, I think it all, there might be some uh, extra stuff, obviously it is a Spin Master 4D Dark Ride model uh, from Garmin Dell Engineering based in Derby, uh, so I'm expecting some 4D effects, maybe some smoke, some water, you know, just something like that, just to really enhance the experience a lot more but I'm very excited about what they could do with that at uh, the potential of that, that ride and what they could have done with that space because don't forget it was an indoor play equipment it was inflatable play equipment wobble world so what they could do as a dark ride in that space could be creatively genius and I'm really excited to see what, what that's going to be like so in terms of final predictions to summarize I'm super excited about this new ride and I, I can't wait to give it my detailed review um, on the day in terms of other attractions, I mean, I've got this feeling that I'll, I'll, I'll do I, do I think my top coaster is going to get taken over by another coaster? No. Uh, do I think some coasters could be improved? Yes, they could have improved ride experience. You can never know. The thing, and, and, and I'm looking at certain attractions, Galactica, Smile, Arita, they're the three coasts I'm looking out for in terms of improved ride experiences. You guys that have been on the channel for a couple of years will know my thoughts on Smiler. I think it's um a decent ride but i think in terms of specific rows it can feel very very rough so i'm excited to see whether that it feels any different whether they've done any maintenance over the closed season uh, and things like that in terms of rita i think apart from the launch it's a very forceful experience i think that uh, it's a bit it's very very rattly uh, so i'm excited to see whether it's the, that's been changed a little bit over the closed season uh this winter just gone a few months back um, Galactica, I think it's just a, a decent ride. There's nothing spectacular about it anymore. Uh, the VR is obviously off now. I got to do it with the VR and without the VR, so I kind of kind of feel honoured with that. To be fair, I got to do the ride before the VR was uh, VR, VR, VAR. No, VR. <laughs> the virtual reality was taken off, so uh, kind of feel a bit honoured with that. But um, you know, I don't mind it without the VR. Uh, v I keep saying VAR, VR. Virtual reality, I don't mind it without the virtual reality because you sort of see the magic portal uh, theming going on, you see the track going around. Obviously, we haven't done an off ride video on Galactica, so I can't wait to hopefully bring that out um, out of this trip. Um, so, and, and then, in terms of attractions that I'm excited to get back on, Wicker Man, Nemesis 13, Spinball. I mean, Spinball doesn't operate the, the single rider. You still have to go on in groups. You, know, you can't go on single rider at the moment, so uh, I have to persuade uh, I have to persuade someone to call it with me um, with that one. So uh, Spinball hopefully shouldn't be a problem. Um, I'm just overall really excited to get back on every on all the stuff. On Tower's Dungeon, I'm excited to see whether there's any little changes and hindrances with that one. I can't wait to see whether Alton Towers Dungeons changed a little bit. Uh, not in terms of like brand new scenes, nothing major or anything like that, just like added lighting or any extra lighting onto it and things like that. So uh, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I, I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a nice experience. And um, I'm really excited. I really, really am. So uh, it should be very, very 
interesting to see what happens on the day. Uh, hopefully, if you do see me at the park, don't be afraid to say hi. I will be at the park all day. Uh, if you see the Coast Chal hoodie, if you see the old Coast Chal logo on the hoodie, you'll know it's me because uh, I've not been selling merchandise yet. <laughs> uh, so if you do see the old Coast Chal hoodie, just so you know, that is me. Um, so yeah, if you do spot that, then you'll know it's me. So um. It's going to be an exciting trip. I really can't wait for this. So, uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching this trip preview uh, from the Alton Towns Resort, June 2021. Obviously, I'll do my trip review, uh, sort of giving an overall review on different rides, giving a, a short review of the new ride, Gangster Grand of the Ride. I'll be giving uh, some thoughts on any changes, anything I spotted during the park, how the maintenance was, how the staff was, how the the, the restaurants were. and yeah, I'll just be giving an overall detail detailed review of the trip on uh, Tuesday so stay tuned for that but for now guys that is going to be it for this video make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you do see me at the park if you are there tomorrow and for now my name is Coast Shell keep living the coast of life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon the next video on this channel will be the trip vlog which will be coming Monday night thank you very much have an old fantastic day see you later